Order of Maesters The Order of Maesters, also known as the Maesters of the Citadel, the Knights of the Mind, and most often simply as the Maesters, are an order of intellectuals, scholars, healers, and other learned men, in the Seven Kingdoms. Focusing on scientific knowledge and disdaining belief in magic, in the present day the Order of Maesters has largely eclipsed the older alchemists' guild, which claims to possess arcane magical knowledge, but whose number, power, and abilities have waned over the centuries. The Maesters are a secular organization, not a religious order, though they do swear sacred oaths to follow the duties and restrictions of their office. Unlike certain other organizations such as the Faith of the Seven, which has male and female priests, women are not allowed to join the Maesters. The sigil of the order is a circular golden chain, made up of twelve square links. The Maesters began as a symposium of scholars and priests in Old Town during the early reign of the Hightowers. Known then only as, Paramore's Pets, they were led by Prince Paramore, the twisted, Hightower, the physically disabled younger brother of King Urigan Hightower. After Paramore's death, the king gave these learned men land within the city that would eventually become the Citadel, laying the foundations for the Order of Maesters. Function and Duties Almost every castle and noble family in Westeros, no matter how small, has a maester on hand to teach the lord's children, give him counsel, and attend to medical and educational needs. The lords of the Seven Kingdoms are also reliant on their ability to send long-distance communiques using trained messenger ravens, which they are responsible for tending in a castle's rookery. Maesters also serve as the resident medical expert at a castle, responsible for everything from setting broken bones, assisting childbirth, and knowledge of medicinal herbs and potions to aid fevers and internal illnesses. In addition, maesters also observe changes in the weather to watch for shifting of the seasons. Maesters are expected to eschew their familial background and political allegiances. They drop their family name when they join the order. They are assigned to serve at castles and holdfasts throughout the Seven Kingdoms and are bound by their vows to serve whoever holds the castle in which they reside, regardless of changes in lordship. It is not considered a breach of their vows if a maester advises the current lord of their castle in military matters to defeat their enemies, but if their lord is defeated by his enemies and possession of the castle officially changes hands, the maester is expected to serve his new lord. Lewin, for example, was sworn to serve the lord of Winterfell, so advised both Bran Stark and Theon Greyjoy. Wolken, who served House Bolton, served House Stark after it retook Winterfell from the Boltons. Similar to the Night's Watch, the Order of Maesters is an egalitarian institution whose members must ignore their past family and political ties, give up their right to inheritance, and take an oath of celibacy. Thus, like the Night's Watch, younger sons or bastard sons are often made to join the Maesters, so as not to interfere with the inheritance of firstborn and or legitimate sons. Another similarity is that both the Night's Watch and the Maesters are considered to be servants of the realm. It is possible to be both a maester and a member of the Night's Watch, due to the similar restrictions of their vows and because the castles along the wall each need a maester. This has always been something of a rarity, however, as even during its prime the Night's Watch only maintained 19 castles along the wall, and by the time of Robert's Rebellion, the number of manned castles had dwindled over the centuries to only three. Thus in the current era there are usually only three maesters who are also members of the Night's Watch. Most prominent among these is Maester Eamon, who by the outbreak of the War of the Five Kings had served as Maester of Castle Black for over seventy years. Should the need arise at the Wall, it is also permissible for a member of the Night's Watch to be trained as a Maester at the Citadel, then return to the Wall to serve as the Maester of one of its castles. Organization The headquarters of the Order of Maesters is the Citadel, a complex devoted to higher learning, which is located in the city of Old Town in the southwest of the Reach. New initiates are trained at the Citadel, and upon finishing their studies, gain the title of Maester, and are assigned to serve at a castle or town in Westeros. The entire order is ruled over by the Conclave, the Council of Archmasters, who reside in the Citadel. The Grand Maester is considered the most senior member of the order, and is its personal representative to the King on the Iron Throne. The Grand Maester is elected by the Conclave, but resides in the Red Keep in King's Landing, to personally advise the King and serve on the small council. Only the conclave may select the Grand Maester and while the king or hand may dismiss the Grand Maester from the council, they cannot strip him of his title. Traditions Maesters wear a chain around their necks composed of various metals to signify their personal expertise. Maesters personally forge each link themselves. Each link indicates a different field of study. There are 16 recognized fields each with a different representative metal. 
maesters are expected to wear their chains at all times, even when sleeping. Known metals and corresponding fields of study include Black iron, ravenry Bronze, astronomy Copper, history Electrum, astrology Gold, money and accounting Iron, warcraft Lead, poison Pale steel, smithing Silver, medicine and healing Steel, construction Valyrian steel, the higher mysteries, i.e. magic Known metals with unknown corresponding fields of study include Brass Pewter Platinum Red gold Tin In the books In the A Song of Ice and Fire novels, the maesters are an all-male order of scholars and teachers, women are not permitted to join the order, that dominate much of the intellectual life in the Seven Kingdoms. They are headquartered at the Citadel in Old Town, West Arrow's second largest city, on the far southwestern coast of the Reach. For a long time, many book readers mistakenly pronounced Maester as Meister. However, George R. R. Martin publicly stated at least as early as 1998 that the Order's name is correctly pronounced Maester, and this pronouncement is used in the Game of Thrones TV series. A wide range of subjects are studied by the Maesters, including herb lore, warcraft, medicine and healing, smithing, economics, history and heraldry, astronomy, ravenry, and the higher mysteries, magic, although the latter is largely theatrical and primarily studied to prove that magic never truly existed. The supreme master in each subject gains the rank of Archmiester and is allowed to sit on the ruling council of the order, the Conclave, based in the Citadel. Maesters in West Eros basically serve many of the functions that Christian monks did in real-life medieval society, being lore masters and advisors to noble families, who are mostly responsible for promoting literature culture, and who provide many of the writing services with letters or books that real-life Christian monks or clergymen would in a medieval chancery. In the fantasy world of West Eros, however, the maesters are entirely separate from the religious clergy, such as septons of the faith of the seven maesters focus entirely on matters of learning and scientific knowledge, while clergymen focus on religious matters. The origin of the Order of Maesters was not revealed in the first five novels of the A Song of Ice and Fire series, but though the World of Ice and Fire Sourcebook, 2014, written from the perspective of a maester writing a comprehensive history West Eros, shed some light on their history. The maesters are said to have originated in Old Town itself, back when that city and its environs constituted a small kingdom of the first men long before the Undull invasion 6,000 years ago. Thus they are not an Undull institution brought to West Eros, nor did they predate the first men migration to West Eros. While their exact origins and development are left murky by thousands of years of history, the Citadel and its maesters simply originated in similar fashion to real-life universities, a king of Old Town had a passion for learning, became a great patron of the arts and sciences, and started gathering scholars and healers at his court. Over time he granted them their own land in the city to promote their studies, which became the Citadel. They formed a guild to organize their trade of scholarship, much like a merchant's guild or shipwright's guild, and over the generations it gradually developed formalized rules, until it developed into the Order of Maesters, known in later centuries, with its vows of political neutrality, and associated rules of celibacy, dissolving all past family allegiances, and holding no land and title, to reinforce this neutrality. Over the centuries, maesters spread to every major town and castle in the Seven Kingdoms, from Dorne to the north, with each maester officially assigned to his location by the Citadel. Lady Dustin has a very negative opinion about maesters. She tells Theon, if I were queen, the first thing I would do would be to kill all those grey rats. They scurry everywhere, living on the leavings of the lords, chittering to one another, whispering in the ears of their masters. Out of gratitude we give them a place beneath our roof and make them privy to all our shames and secrets, a part of every council. And before too long, the ruler has become the ruled. She personally resents Maester Whaley's, a predecessor of Lewin's, whom she claims came to Winterfell to fill Lord Ricard Stark's ears with poisoned words as sweet as honey, and the Tully marriage was his idea undoubtedly. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.